So hi again, uh, I'll be now explaining to you about um, the important terms, which is uh, part of the uh, books closure, uh, an audit entry, or uh, closure entry. So this is called the term as before tax. So the defer is nothing but the postponement. The postponement of tax can either be an asset to the company or it could be a liability. Okay, so it is nothing but the tedious the tax credit, asset refers to the tax credit. So now what do you mean by first of all, what do you mean by defer tax? And what are the accounting entries? And what is the importance of this defer tax? So I'll explain it to you. So we maintain the books as per Companies Act. So every country has their own uh, corporate affairs, and uh, in India it's called Companies Act. We maintain books, the books of accounts as per Companies Act. So let us presume that year one we earned a profit of 10 lakh, year two 10 lakhs, year three is 10 lakh 20. I'll tell you why. This for easy understanding, I've taken the figures like this. And uh, the depreciation, the main date is SLM 40%. So therefore, depreciation for year one is 40,000. Year two is also 40,000. And year three, year three is the remaining 20,000. So now, as per the Income Tax Act, Income Tax Act, it is same SLM method, but at 50%. So here the depreciation year one is fifty thousand, year two is fifty thousand, year three is nil because the value of the asset is one lakh. Here also the value of the asset is one lakh. So what does the income tax act says? The income tax act says that you are supposed to pay tax on the Income tax profit, not on this book profit. The, the profit, as per the Companies Act, we call it as book profit. The term used is book profit. So, from book profit, you need to arrive at the tax profit, and then the tax has to be applied on the tax profit. The tax should not be paid on the book profit. So, as per the Income Tax Act, let us recompute the uh, book profit to arrive at tax profit. So, what is book profit? Book profit is one lakh. And income tax does not allow depreciation as per Companies Act. So you need to add back to arrive at the profit before depreciation. So here it is the depreciation is 40,000. Okay, so 10 lakh, 40,000. Then you're going to reduce, you are going to allow the depreciation as per Income Tax Act. As per Income Tax Act, it is 50,000. So therefore, my tax profit is nine lakh ninety thousand. So the tax that needs to be paid is on nine lakh ninety thousand and not on this book profit, which is ten. So the tax that is presumed is twenty percent. So that would go up to up to so this two lakh one lakh ninety eight thousand. Okay, so let us prepare the double tax schedule. So it will be easy for you to understand. So as per the Companies Act and as per the Income Tax Act. So the profit here is profit here is 10 lakhs, and the profit we computed as per tax profit is 9 lakh 90 lakh. If I apply the tax rate. Okay, at the rate of 20 percent, then as per income, as per the company's act is 2 lakh, as per income tax act is 1 lakh 98,000. So your two profit is say 10 lakhs, and as per income tax act is 9 lakh 90 because the profit is the same, I'll be complete, I'll get the same tax, tax profit figure. So the tax at the rate of 20 percent will be 2 lakhs again. And one lakh ninety-eight thousand. So year three will have a different figure. The profit as per book profit is ten lakh twenty thousand. 
So therefore, my tax at the rate of twenty percent will be two lakh four thousand. So now, as per income tax act, I'm going to substitute this. So my book profit is twenty ten lakh twenty thousand, and my companies act depreciation is twenty thousand. Okay, so my depreciation as per income tax act is nil. I'm going to substitute this. So therefore, my tax profit is ten lakh forty thousand. My tax would be two lakh eight thousand. Right. So two lakh eight thousand. So if I'm going to substitute this, if I sum up all the taxes I paid for three years, this will be six lakhs. Four thousand euro, and if I sum up all the taxes as per income tax act, which I've actually paid is six lakhs four thousand. So basically, after three years, after the completion of the depreciation period, the amount of tax that I pay is same. So this is only a temporary difference in temporary timing difference in terms of the tax that I pay. So the difference in the temporary difference that is created in terms of Timing of for the tax, the timing of payment of tax is called different tax. Okay, so now I need to pass an entry because in year one I paid lesser tax. That means I'm going to pay more in the future. So that's called different tax, the future tax liability. So year two is also a future tax liability. Year three is I paid more tax because I paid lesser tax in the first two years. So therefore, this will become a different tax asset, which will offset with the different tax asset a liability that I created. So what are the accounting entries? So the accounting entries are so the year one. So what is the difference? The difference is two thousand. So therefore, you pass an entry in debit tax account debit two thousand to debit tax liability. So debit tax liability two thousand, at which I'm going to pay in future. So year two is also same. That is debit tax account. Debit two thousand to debit tax liability because in even in year two you are going to pay lesser amount of tax and therefore that would that would amount to the tax in future. So year three is debit tax asset because you paid more tax in in、uh, which is due to the reason you paid a lesser tax in earlier years. So the difference is four lakh four lakh four thousand. Four thousand to defer tax income. Four thousand, so four thousand of asset and two thousand plus two thousand of liability is going to offset here. So four thousand, and that's how we are going to account for defer tax. So now this defer tax asset, this will go to the PML account. Defer tax liability will go to the liability part of the. Balance sheet. It is the same year in year two. Year three is deferred tax asset. This will go to the asset, and this will go to the P and L income side. It's an indirect income. Okay. So these are these are the accounting entries that we are going to pass. So this is in brief. I have explained you、uh, what the concept of deferred tax. The the concept is same, but the number of、uh, you know line items can vary. So it is not only the depreciation that causes for the temporary difference in the tax timing. But there can also be、uh, other items like gradually, leave engagement, so many other items, etc. Okay, so these are、um, quite commonly used、uh, line items. So these line items cause temporary、uh, timing difference of the tax、uh, amounts that we pay. So the difference of the you know tax amount that we pay, that's the timing difference. The difference is that is what we have accounted. And that is called as the tax asset or debit tax liability. Okay, hope、uh, it's clear. And if you have any questions, you can just leave your comments on this channel, or you can just、uh, drop me an email、uh, so that I'll be able to email it to you or communicate it to you to an extent that you can understand that better. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a good time.